hi guys in this video i'm going to talk about wk webview wk webview has been there in ios for quite a long time in last few days i got to work on wk webview a lot learn quite a few tricks with it so i thought of uh, sharing it without further delay let's start so i have already created a project uh, which uses wk webview what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through it. So unlike the UI WebView, WK WebView doesn't have an interface builder element. You have to add and configure it programmatically. So let's uh, go through the storyboard first. <coughs> okay, so I have a view controller here. I have a UI view to be a holder for WK web view. Now let's go to the view controller and create the WK web view programmatically. I have a function called initialize WK web view. So what it does is it first sets a WK web view with wk webview holders bound so you are going to place this wk webview into the wk webview holder that we have created which is a ui view now you need to set the navigation delegate and the ui delegate navigation delegate is nothing but which take care about uh, the navigation policies like if you come across a link whether navigation should be allowed uh, whether a link is activated whether it is a reload what kind of action it is you can customize all those things then whether a link has properly loaded whether the link uh, failed to load all these things are covered in the navigation delegate and what UI delegate does is it helps in providing interface for uh, JavaScript elements like showing alert, showing alert with input text, all those kind of things. So that for those purposes, we use navigation delegate and uh, UI delegate. Now you add the WK web view as a sub view to the web view holder. I will come to the script handlers later so that's it so you have created a wk web view and added to the user interface now let's load a simple request so I have created a function called load simple request so which takes I am loading http google.com I have created a uh, extension for string so you just pass a string and it get, it will be converted into a URL request so there is there are some validations being done uh, to make sure the URL is proper once we get the URL request you just need to call the load URL request function of the WK web view let's uh, right yeah now you can see that google.com has loaded in the frame that we have set which is the web view holder frame this is the simple means to load a URL now let's see another method so there is another way to load a URL or a uh, web page you can create a HTML string I have another method called load string if you go into that method what I'm doing is I'm just creating a uh, simple HTML string or HTML page 
now I'm calling load HTML string with this string as the parameter so let's see how it works okay now we can see that I have added a heading hello that got displayed here so this is another way to load an HTML content into WK web view that's all for this video in the next video we are going to see a couple of other method like loading an HTML from the resources folder injecting JavaScript uh, functions etc thank you for watching bye bye